Hi, I'm Melon from Battle Wars Gaming, and we're going into another Tips and Tricks Gigantic video. Today we're going to be talking about stamina. Yes, stamina. That little blue bar on the right-hand side of your screen, you know, the thing we mostly ignore and forget about, but is bitched about the most. People being like, I'm playing Trip, and I'm trying to get a Mozu, and all of a sudden I can't run anymore. GG, Gigantic, I let a free kill go. Well, uh, you know, we gotta talk about it. Stamina is the least understood ability and kind of mechanic in the game. You know, behind power and summons and enemy abilities. And you're like, okay, what the hell could be less well known than stamina? Well, how, how about Mr. Strawman health? You go to zero health, you die. I, I mean, did you know that? I don't think so, Mr. Strawman. <laughs> really, we're going to go into the exciting idea of stamina uses and management. Well, I think it's exciting anyways. All characters use the basics of stamina in the identical way. First off the bat, your abilities. Your abilities use stamina, so it's like mana, right? No, you, you can still use your abilities even at zero stamina. So, not like mana at all. You can't tell me what to cast stamina. You're not my real dad. Oh god, that, that went a little dark. Stamina also allows you to sprint. We're all soldiers now. Made obligatory Overwatch joke. Check. And the most important thing, which a lot of people don't know, is you can dodge. Dodging is ridiculously important. Dodging can let you change directions in a jump. It can also stop the animation on a hard landing, allowing you to get back into a fight quicker if you immediately dodge after you hit the ground. It has iframes as well. I mean, seriously, you can just... No, 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 okay, okay, seriously, I can just dodge through... You know what? You know what? Look, you can see that I'm only getting hit by the fireball at the tail end of this, which means I'm, I'm avoiding it. And every character has a different iframe animation. And, uh, you can also do amazing things like avoid the Margrave stun with an iframe. I have no photographs of this because, you know, I'm a scrub, but whatever. Dodging also removes collision, which means you can dash through uh, an opponent. You can dash through a friend being a complete jerk and blocking the doorway and stopping you from getting to your boo. And if you played Zenobia, seriously, why wouldn't you play Zenobia? You gotta learn the back dodge. I mean, they still haven't fixed this. Look at the distance you can get with this booty pop. Look at this booty go boom. I can get out of the way out of anything. Seriously, take a look at Zenobia. Look how much distance I get. And look at somebody else. Nah, that booty ain't got shit on Zenobia. Jumping also burns stamina, so if you're jumping around like a frog on Red Bull, you're probably not going to be able to run away or secure a kill. Stop it! Did you know that? Consecutive jumps, aka bunny hops, slowly lower your jump height, but if you wait just a second, you completely recover. Now you know! I pulled out my lab coat for that. That was like three seconds long! Now melee heroes gain a bit more out of their stamina. Sorry, range, just sit in the back and go pew pew and non-unique special snowflakes. The first one is a dodge attack. Simply said, if you dodge and hit your normal attack button, you rush forward, do some extra damage. Now, some talents, <coughs> <Titus Kindle. coughs> which is bullshit, make this ability even better. Really, really, this is broken as hell. Bleed on everybody, you goddamn monster. Melee heroes also gain the ability to do a jump attack, which, if you land, applies cripple. No, I swear it'll apply cripple. I just can't seem to get to work on the practice arena. Seriously, it does cripple things. It also does extra damage, both of these abilities. About 40% extra, which is a supersized ability uh, if you need to land a quick, you know, damage to finish somebody off. And the jump attacks are very unique, as you can use them to change directions midair. And it allows you to get to places you normally couldn't. Oh, it gives you a little extra height when you jump. Best place to use this is probably in falls. If you're coming out of the enemy's secret, normally you can't make this jump. Look, faceplant. Faceplant. Faceplant every time. However, if I use my jump attack, I'm right at the apex of my height. Boom! I get up here and I can probably escape my uh, pursuers really easy unless they know this trick too. Now to the more important end of this whole thing, not what you can do with stamina, but stamina management. The first thing to note is take skirmishing. No, seriously, take skirmishing. Oh, I can take killer instincts for extra damage. No, 
Don't make me put your head against your monitor like a puppy that's pillow on the rug. No killer instinct. Take skirmishing. Bad boy. S you know, skirmishing decreases the amount of time it takes to start regenerating stamina in half, which means if you're smart, you can kind of regen your abilities real quick and start chasing down kills. Or run away like a little scared chicken you are. Just don't do it. Don't. Just skirmishing. Yeah, also, important thing to note right here. Stamina management. Go into your menu, turn off double tap for dodging. Why? Because you can be in the middle of doing something cool like Chonok charging up his fireball and then you accidentally double click your A key and boom! You, know, you dodged and it stopped charging and you wasted stamina and you wasted your ability to charge up and you had that perfect shot lined up and you blew it because you're an idiot. Don't be a double tap. Don't use up all of your stamina. Stamina will start recharging at double the length of time if you used it up instead of leaving just like a tick left. Seriously, you just have to have this smidgen of stamina left and it comes back quicker. Don't use it all up. I mean, if you did this, you can kind of like pace yourself, run for a little bit, almost run out of stamina, let it tick back up and continue chasing. And you know that Mosu is like, oh, I barely got away because you're out of stamina. Well, if you don't burn it all up during the chase, you can continue chasing quicker and get back into the fight faster. Unlike health, stamina will regen in combat. I swear it will. Relax. The important thing to note is, if you're attempting to escape an enemy, you have to think to yourself, what's more important? Getting more stamina so it can run farther and perhaps get behind cover? Or taking less damage and trying to sprint away right now? That's where you have to kind of play around with the numbers. Take a couple hits of damage, get extra stamina back, run further, survive. Or go, oh crap, I better start running, I have very little stamina, and I go two feet, you know, have to take a Twinkie break, and then get shot by the enemy team to death. Sometimes trading health for stamina is the right move. While playing Assassins, especially, you have to think about... How much stamina do I have during a team fight? Keep a close eye on it. I've used abilities, I've used everything else. How much do I have left so if my enemy team starts to dissolve and starts to break apart, I can continue to chase? It might be okay to, you know, step away from combat for a split second, let a couple ticks of stamina come back before you jump back in. This is extremely useful if you're taking a creature as well. Now, if you're taking a creature solo style, you can be looking around, and just using, you know, your left click, maybe right click to try to damage it. But constantly be, you know, scanning. Seeing if your opponents are coming in to try to gank you while you're on their creature. And if you're getting a little low on stamina, just kind of kite the thing around a little bit. Get a couple ticks of stamina back so in case you do get jumped, you can easily escape and have full stamina. And not get caught trying to jump away in a rock and then get shot to death because the entire team rotated. The next tip is seemingly counterintuitive. If you have a speed boost or like an invisibility, don't be sprinting, use the ability, and continue sprinting. Why? Because the ability uses stamina, the sprint uses stamina, and you won't regain that stamina until you stop doing anything. Now you can just walk forward a bit, but if you pause and let a tick of stamina come back, you have a bigger threat radius because you can now sprint longer or engage in a fight longer afterwards and then escape. So... Let's follow with me. Sprint, use your ability, stop, drop, and roll, gain stamina, continue murdering everybody, because you're on fire. And that's about everything you need to know about stamina. Well, it's everything you need to know about stamina. I might teach you everything you know, but I'll never teach you everything I know. Alright, I'm Ellen from Bad Wars Gaming, and if you enjoyed this video, Hit the like button, it helps me out a ton. And if you want to see more gigantic content, subscribe. I'll see you on the airship, guys. Signing out.